Hi there again. Welcome and thank you for joining me. We are in Psalm 35. We are going to look at verses 9 and 10 today. And David is is really wrestling with uh, those that are attacking him, those that are going after him, and and really turning to and trusting God in the midst of that, rather than turning to himself and trusting himself. So as we uh, get ready to study the Word of God, let's pray and ask the Lord to speak to our hearts and minds. Let's pray. We thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, for your work, that you are active in our lives. And help us, God. Help us to remember. Help us to respond with gratitude. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So David writes this, Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord, exulting in his salvation. All my bones shall say, O Lord, who is like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him, the poor and needy from him who robs him? What do you do or what have you done when God has really, truly moved in your life. If you're like me, I think you are probably, it's so easy for us to take it for granted, to take God for granted, to take God's goodness for granted. It's kind of like, you know, maybe for birthday or Christmas, we've, we've had a gift in mind that we we really really wanted we 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 needed perhaps even and finally we we the day comes we get to open the package we open the package and and there it is there's that whatever that we've wanted and needed for so long and we get it and we become so enamored with this object with this thing that we do not take the time to thank those that have given us that. We do very much the same thing with God. And I know we try to be grateful. I know we try to be those that express our appreciation. I, I know we do, but I, I, I also know how much we struggle with it. And some people chronically struggle with, struggle with it. They, they perhaps have rarely ever said thank you. And, and then there are those of us that can almost obsessively say thank you for everything. And, and here, David is, is, describing that when God does work in his life to deliver him from those that are wanting to harm him and and God uh, in a sense uh, brings back upon those the the plans and the schemes that they have against David David says then my soul will rejoice in the Lord exulting in his salvation David says God when you work like this I will praise you I will celebrate your saving work in my life. Not only will I say it with my mouth, but but David says it'll it'll be expressed by every every small little minute component of who I am. David says all my bones shall say, "O oh Lord, who is like you? Who is like the Lord?" No military, no rescue team, no best friend, no spouse, no sibling, no neighbor, no one can rescue and redeem and save and deliver as the Lord does. David says, all my bones shall say, who, O Lord, is like you. You deliver the poor. You deliver the poor from those who are too strong for him. You deliver the poor and needy from the ones that rob him. Let us turn to and trust the Lord. And let us rejoice in the Lord and exulting in the work of his salvation. Not only the salvation that Jesus achieved on the cross, and that is and that one act is ample reason for us to be praising God every day. But then every day how God reapplies and applies and applies and applies and grows and expands the work of that salvation in our life. How good is God? 
I'll see you again next time.